What's up everyone? It's day two here in Alter du Chão and we're about to do a boat tour with a group here and the boat tour is going to cost 200 per person and then I think we have to pay a guide like 150 but I think that's split between the group here So we're just on our way now to get on the boat Maybe it's down here, there's loads of people getting on the boat so Yeah, I think there's only four other people with us so that's good I want to go back to that island again like yesterday <laughs> Ilha do Amor Incredible island to to visit So that took about 45 minutes, right? Yeah. And it was just like this all the way around. So beaches all the way down the coast. Empty beaches. The guys just left us here stranded. <laughs> so even though we're on the beach, we haven't come here for the beach. We're, we're gonna do a trail now. And the guy said it's two hours to get there and two hours back. So didn't know we were gonna be doing a four hour trail today. But we did bring our boots, so yeah, we knew there would be a trail, we just didn't realize that it would be so long. So this place that they've dropped us off is actually like a little village. So check out this little church here, Igreja da Paix. And then you got the little houses here. Yeah, I think this is like a school area. Interesting. I didn't know we were coming to a, a village. Man, these people live far away, don't they, Carol? Yeah. <laughs> this is way out of the way. But I think there are many villages like this all the way around here in many different spots, but they're kind of remote. Yeah, all around the Amazon. So that's the name of the community here, Jamaraqua. Comunidade de Jamaraquá. Quantas pessoas moram aqui? Aqui, 148. 148? É, ah, pequeno. Agora está aumentando. Eram 143 pessoas. This right here is the little community school. It's called João Paulo the Second. Tiny little school. São as frutinhas do Breu. That's what the tribe used to make the fire, right? Yeah. In that, uh, yeah, in one of our first videos there yeah. in uh, Amazon. Breu Branco. We were wondering what it was, so there you go. So you can actually stay here as well, so that would be pretty cool because you get to stay in a community, you have a beach, and you have the jungle all in one. Alright, trail number 100 of the trip. <laughs> I've lost count of how many trails that we've done. Wow, look at this, it's like another world already. Right here, and then this. <laughs> Right in the middle of the trail is the ant house. Tanajura house. Tanajura. Is that the name of the kind of ant? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. You can what? see them with the leaves. Oh, with the leaves. Yeah, carrying the leaves. Loads of them. Yeah. So this is the rubber tree 
that we've mentioned on many of the trails, but here's the actual like container that would be used, this kind of thing. So yeah, I guess they cut it here, and then this uh, stick is just used for the, the latex to drop down into this container. Now it's mixed with uh, the rainwater. So I mentioned in a previous video that Manaus, the main city here in the Amazon, was the richest city in uh, South America at the time, I think in the 1800s, because of that rubber. So we've seen this on our other trails. This is the kind of palm that you use for like decorations or roofs. And from this leaf here, we made a, a plate. So when we did some camping in the forest, if you watch that video, that was the one that we made the little plate pull with to eat food. The thunder sounds have begun. And yeah, it started to rain once again. I always love it though when it rains on the trails to cool down and the bugs and the, the birds go way crazier when it's uh, about to rain and I think this is like the darkest jungle that we've been in yeah, yeah. yeah it's super close look even from the top not much daylight coming through yeah, so it's absolutely pouring it down, but we don't even feel a drop. Feel anything because of the, the jungle is so thick here. If the, the raindrops doesn't get to the ground. Yeah, but listen to the sound. Yeah. Like it's absolutely pouring it down and nothing's getting through. Crazy. Got yet again another monster tree here. Look at the size of this. <laughs> All right, never mind, the rain is getting through now. <laughs> but today we got our coat. The rain's not coming through. No. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. The trail has turned into a stream. Whoa. So you probably can't hear me, but this is the famous tree, famous big tree. Man, it's been raining like this for like 40 minutes now. You're tired of the rain. Yeah, this is crazy. I think this is one of the like heaviest rain storms or whatever that I've ever been caught in. There's nowhere to go, we had like four hours of trail and yeah. in the first hour, mm -hmm. it already came. Yeah. Yeah. Just to give you, uh, you guys an idea of the size. <laughs> yeah, these roots are crazy. Look at that hole. The trail must go on. There's no turning back anyway, because we're like halfway into the trail, so. Just got to continue. So this would normally be one of the viewpoints, but obviously because of the rain, can't see anything right now. Uh, finally, shelter. <laughs> Little hut. So around here you can also do camping in the jungle, so this would be the 
area of the campsite. <laughs> Let's see how much water. <laughs> <laughs> So we made it back to the community now, <laughs> back to where we started. And I think we're going to have lunch right now, but uh, the tour's still going to go on. So yeah, I think we're going to head to a river after we eat. I think we need some warm food after that trail. And some rest. Yeah, food and rest. Yeah, I'm, I'm destroyed. So all around everyone's dry in their like socks and their clothes. <laughs> Everybody got soaked. So it turns out that we're not going to continue with this part of the tour at this place in the community. We were going to head to a river and um, do some canoeing, but nobody really wants to go in the rain. And we're also pretty cold because, um, yeah, all our clothes are wet and they're not drying. So, yeah, even me and Carol didn't want to do the canoeing as well. And the guy said closer to Altair du Champ, where we're staying, the weather should be better, that it's not raining there. So. Yeah, we're gonna head there and check out some beaches. Hopefully it's not raining, because if it is, I guess the, the tour's over. Yeah, sorry. I'm so cold. Yeah, I'm cold as well. I just want a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, the water's nice and warm. That's all we gotta do, just stay in the water yeah. and never get out. Never get out of the water. arrived at the beach the guy said this one is called Pindo Bao really a big beach I don't know if me and Carol have, have ever arrived at the beach in coats before <laughs> in raincoats so if you watch the last video we were just over there in the distance on a, a beach called uh, Mo, was it Moreta? Pon, Ponta do Moreta yeah so that was just over there and yeah this one's quite different that one was deserted you can obviously see there's more things here for tourists though for tourism so i guess you can pay for one of these usually get a meal drinks here right on the the ocean, ocean. <laughs> the ocean the ocean yeah why what did i say it's not the ocean it's oh yeah yeah it's not the yeah. ocean <laughs> i keep forgetting yeah, right on the river. So the spot here in the corner is really cool because we're on this like uh, cliff edge. I hadn't been to any beaches like this yet in the Amazon region. Huge cliffs. You see all these rocks that have broken from the cliff. And at this side, there's no uh, wind. That's why we came here. I think it is a bit warmer now, right? Uh, <laughs> Carol's like shivering while I'm asking her that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still cold. <laughs> You're still cold? Yeah, that's the tough thing about this region because if you look at the weather forecast it always shows uh, thunderstorms 
but obviously a lot of the days it's just sunny but it's because even though it's sunny in some parts there's always thunderstorms very close by so like over there was raining like crazy and from what the guy said in the center it's not raining at all and it's very close so yeah you can never really tell you just have to go out and hope for the best So we're back at out there the shown now, the center. So obviously the trip didn't go completely to plan. Normally we'd still actually be out there. Usually it would go to the beach that we went to yesterday, the Mureta, and you'd stay there for the sunset. What do we do now? Go back. Dry. Dry. Take warm a shower. Warm shower. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah. And then later on we'll probably go out to have dinner and see the, In the, center. the little town yeah. yeah we haven't shown that yet so yeah. we can probably show it This is the main square at night. The other days that we came here, it was more lively, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was a Sunday and today, I don't know, Tuesday. So it's not as lively as it gets on the weekend. Yeah, so usually all these places here are open, selling food. There's like chairs and stuff here for people to eat. And I think we ate at this restaurant the other night there. But look how cool this one looks. I don't think it was like that the other day. That's probably for Christmas as well. And yeah, we're just gonna decide where we're going to eat today. We found this spot here on the main square. There's less tables today because it's raining out there. And what's the name of this spot? Um, My Natureza. My Natureza. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a uh, My Natureza. And I think I'm gonna get this here. Dajinhas de tapioca. $29.99 and I'm also going to get a isca de filet mignon, 34 reais. So they're both uh, entries, but yeah, I'm just going to get two entries. Do you know what you're going to get? Pizza, margarita pizza. Pizza? Yeah. Okay. 34 reais. Oh, the medium one? Yeah. Okay. So what's that drink that you've got there? Caipirinha. Caipirinha? Yeah, with pineapple and hortelã. Uh, mint. mint, pineapple, mint, and cachaça. Mm. Strong? No? Carol wanted a strong one. Lots of cachaça. Uh, sleepy Carol. <laughs> so this is the filet mignon, the beef really tasty they have some sort of like veggies on there i don't know what it is and there's also some cheese that carol's been eating it's good so tasty. yeah yeah the beef is really tasty really juicy beef and this is carol's monster cheesy pizza so it turns out they didn't have the medium size they only had the the grande the big one so yeah, Carol's gonna eat a lot today. Not a problem. <laughs>
And the last dish has arrived, so this is the tapioca. Like some rectangle square cassava block. And then they also brought this dip here, which is like a pineapple. And it has some spices in there as well. Let's see how it tastes. Whoa, it's re really spicy. Yeah, yeah, it has it has pepper on the the sauce. Yeah, but there's some other spices in there. That's not just uh, pepper. Usually in Brazil, things aren't that spicy, but yeah, this is really spicy. It's good though. about to head back home and then we found out that apparently there's some sort of like local party going on here so I think we're gonna check that out it's a uh, kind of music from this region what's it called Carol? Carimbo. Carimbo. Yeah it's supposed to be very interesting and a beautiful dance as well. And that's from this state of Pará. Para. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah so I've never heard of it never seen the dancing so yeah we're gonna check it out now. <laughs> So that was a really cool show. Didn't do much talking there just because the music was constant, but yeah, really interesting to see those people sure know how to dance and yeah the music was inter interesting as well I like the what is it like the trumpet saxophone thing I thought that sounded uh, really cool and I'm not sure if there's gonna be another video from here we are gonna be here tomorrow still and we did want to do another tour but the forecast is looking terrible so yeah I'm not sure if we want to pay for a tour again to get caught in some crazy rainstorm and we just had an amazing time here it's just been a really surreal experience if you watched all the previous videos near the Manaus area yeah just so many unique experiences here it's done so many things that we've never done before hopefully you've enjoyed all these videos from this Amazon region and I'm pretty sure it will have uh, surprised you especially the fact that there's like these beaches and stuff um, yeah just lots of things that even I didn't know existed here so if you did enjoy them just drop a like to support us as always subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>